Please welcome Derek Carlstrom. Hey, everybody, guys! I traveled a long way by by bus to get here. <laughs> I have no intention of letting you guys get a word in edgewise. I just oh, I see how this how it works it's a good here. Way to approach the interview. I'll interview us. you because the interview. The interviewer gets to do all the talking around here, and apparently you guys have all the answers. So let's oh. get started. All right. So what do you got for who you want to? What do you got this for starting us off with? First question. Yes. Uh, are you going to come and see the meat puppets tonight at the sur- subterranean? subterranean? Uh, over there on North Avenue, in Milwaukee. That's the place. Uh, absolutely. What's the cover? I forget. Uh, we might do a Rocky Erickson cover. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Uh-huh. 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 Um, and then obviously we're playing a do division tomorrow as well rain or shine <laughs> oh, okay. so um pick your pick uh we were in chicago a year ago when we actually debuted this new lineup with me uh i can't remember the location i'm sorry we also played at a place in milwaukee uh-huh. we had been playing like mad for the last uh year and you are not kidding when you say sublime oh um did you say meat puppets? Correct. Meat puppets. There you go. <laughs> no, this is the your back. Or no, you didn't just have me on because it's a suggestive titled name. Because if no. you want to take it in that direction, we can. However, I would be more than happy to answer some of your Bill Ayers questions. Oh, because okay. I am prepared. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. prepared. I Thank have God. questions for you. Too. Unlike some of your guests, underground documentary accurate. Because as a, as a lifelong musician, uh, the uh, intensity and creative power of the meat puppets is not lost on me. Thank you. And I'm, what do you play? I, I'm very proud. Lifelong guitar player, songwriter, with a dabble in a little bass and lead vocals as well. And, nice. Uh, I'm uh, on a firm trajectory to go nowhere uh, with my career, but I'm That's having fun doing it. probably the best tra- 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 trajectory. Besides, I've been in the studio for the past half an hour, and I can see what you're talking about. Oh, right on. Um, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's super cool to be back with the band. I was yeah. out of music for 20 years um, mm-hmm. after getting absolutely sick of working for the man at uh, Polygram Records. Right. And so instead I went and got a real job working for the actual man. And uh, now 20 years later, I'm like, ah, oh, it's so nice to be back. You were um, doing like IT work? I okay. still do, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Right on. Um, and, you know, it's, it's crazy, uh, but it's n- not nearly as crazy as what we do now, which is like, well, we're going to Europe in on we're going to Ireland on Wednesday. Oh, so wow. basically, we're playing these two shows. Mm-hmm. Then we're flying back home. Then 36 hours later, I get on a plane at 6 a.m. and then I'm on, in in the air for 16 hours. And then we go all over the place, and it's wonderful. I've been watching this Brexit thing the whole time, and uh, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, no, maybe nothing will happen. And of course, not only do they finally fall the, lose their government, but yeah. they're going to get a new one like the day we get there. We okay. gotta we gotta drive from Frankfurt back into England overnight, and I haven't been to Europe since they had the channel. So I'm uh-huh. just hoping that they don't like decide to like search every single van for Muslims or whatever the hell they 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 got a problem with <laughs> over there. I hope we make the show, so we shall see. Right. Well, a bunch of like uh, iconoclastic. Uh uh, rocker punkers such as yourselves uh, well, might t- have a little trouble getting from I'll place tell you to once uh, we used to have that kind of trouble back in the in the day uh, uh-huh. we went to Europe a few times one times we got stuck in the, um, the whatever that DMZ area was called our van broke down that uh-huh. was wonderful I was like look there are actual Russian troops all around it was so cool and we just uh-huh. had to argue with each other about, stay in the van no you I'm coming out no and then we <laughs> got stuck in a freaking um, hurricane in England when, when we were over there, uh-huh. um, literally out in the middle of nowhere, taking refuge in a cemetery where there's no trees, yeah. and uh, getting up the next morning, and uh, the whole country is in absolute chaos. That was awesome. Yeah. And then one time yeah. we come into uh, Italy from Switzerland, uh-huh. and some, one, some wise ass that we're traveling with decides that, no, He's going to be able to get the, the joint uh, across the border. You know, no problem. <laughs> and, of course, the dogs are there immediately. Uh-huh. And um, the next thing you know, they haul us into this little room, take all of our T-shirt money, oh, um, try to actually proposition the women in our group. Uh-huh. And the, the guy, the head guy actually calls home and has his daughters come in and uh, – and we don't speak any of their the language. And right. he's like talking to his daughters about us. Uh, and we're like going, is he asking if we're fans? Does he, hmm. if they're fans, do they want autographs? Are they, is he like making a, like a life lesson out of us? Uh-huh. Either way, they finally let us go several thousand dollars short. 
Oh, and the God. promoter is like, oh, you guys got here early. <laughs> oh, they must have found something. If they hadn't have found anything, they'd have torn the, 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 the bus apart, and you'd have been there all night. Oh, wow. So, so you got lucky, but you didn't know it. Uh, them finding something quick saved you the hassle of... Well, Flabby, I always feel lucky. <laughs> I feel lucky to be here talking with you. Uh, well, same here. However, um, you know, uh, the sky's the limit when you go over there. So I'm an American, like uh, you are, obviously. Sure, and, yeah. uh you know, I haven't been These to Europe These colors don't run, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Well, um, either way, I was delighted to be on the same show with Mr. B Bill Ayers. I'm a big else, fan. Huh? And yeah, yeah. and uh, I just yeah. thought it was like these are the types of people you have on when that when my uh, label pitched me on this. But uh -huh. here he is in the flesh. Yeah. And I'm like, hell. There you I go. mean, if, if uh, one uh, of the uh, reasons uh, I got into the Meat Puppets uh -huh. was to do a lot of the crap that he's talking about, which is to like – provide that what was he talking about on his he's couch and all that um academic you know pseudo communist legalese whatever he says but basically come to the show and let me, let me just challenge the people who are coming to the show tonight yes, believe it or not the meat puppets are actually supposed to be a dance band uh -huh. so f and dance when, when you come down to the show tonight don't just stand there with your arms crossed nodding your head staring at the band and making googly eyes at the 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 Members of the band that still look like they can uh, get it up. That was that was for you, Flabby. <laughs> Thank you so and, much. Uh, you know, we should actually encourage our radio listeners now to dance while they're listening to the radio show. I mean, what the heck? Yeah. Don't well, just that, sit there in Radio Land with your arms crossed. That's glazed, on you. Eyes glazed okay. over. I don't know your audience. That's that's up to you to decide. I wouldn't well, presume to tell your get audience. One, I'll yeah, get some exactly. Well, <laughs> well, try to do a demographic profile. Yeah, I, I gather the show was a uh, was an, a show in search of an audience. Well, I do what I can to pull our audience as much as possible, but uh, a lot of them are not real responsive to that, and there's a lot of restraining orders. And whatnot uh, over well, the years. You know, I, I am a, I'm a fan of, of squalor, so of course I've studied Chicago, uh -huh. and I was yeah. thrilled to take the bus out here. And I was just like, uh, uh, the whole, the whole way, I'm just looking out the window, going, "Wow!" And like the the bus, uh, the, the the gal uh, standing next to me is talking to the bus driver, and she's uh -huh. like, "You know, I've never encountered racism before. I took this recent job." Yeah. And he's like, "What's up with that? It's 2019." I was like, "Yes." <laughs> I, mean, I live in Phoenix. I don't have. We don't have a city oh, yeah. there. I live in the suburbs. Uh -huh. um, you know, and my we drove past the old site of Cabrini Green and all that stuff, and I'm just oh, like, yeah. wow, this town has actually been. Oh, were um, you humming the theme to the Good Times TV show when you were well, driving through good there? Time. <laughs> uh, well, of course, of course, I was. Um, <laughs> actually, I was reminded about how S Chicago is the city between two seas, which is cute. Oh, one's oh, a sea yeah, of good. wheat. Uh huh. How long have you lived in Chicago? Forever. Like it seems like a million years. <laughs> <laughs> um, Me too. And I just got here yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. So, but I mean, we're talking about Bill Ayers, iconic, incredible person to just even <laughs> yeah. be in the same room with, let alone yep. have a wonderful, uh, enlightening conversation as we did. But you're no slouch either. I mean, the Meat Puppets is an iconic band. That it's it, true. It, I think is, so. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. America's lost cause. That's what uh, I call them. Uh, the, you guys were at the forefront of the post-punk era back in the 80s. Uh, well. With a, uh, with a host of other bands, but you guys were providing us with some of the greatest tunes out of all of them. Uh, I, I wouldn't disagree, obviously. Uh, um, the Meat thing, Puppets 2. Great, great album. Unbelievable. Um, Meat Puppets 2. I think our new album, Dusty Notes, is as good as that one. I don't know if y'all you, if you boys have, uh, and lady have, have enjoyed that one I yet. I watched both videos. Yeah. And, and to be honest with you, I was, I did not know that you were back with with the band. This and is I why I am here. I like, Wait a second, who's that on drums? <laughs> That's why I'm here, sir. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I figured it out after the fact. Keegan was the one who was uh, was able to put the connections together to have you uh, join us and and so when I was getting ready for you to come in of course I'm like looking seeing reading and uh, whatever I could and then I saw you in the two videos which by the way the song's great they Thank sound you. fantastic I'm really enjoying those are the only two I've heard uh, nine uh, uh, nails bins nine bins and uh, oh, like the bowling can... and what and warranty warranty I got two of the letters right. Well, we uh, yeah. we actually the, the boys and I hadn't spoken in in a couple of decades. Right. I went off and did my thing. They kept doing their thing. Obviously, one of our members was uh, in a little trouble with the law. So yeah. um, as you do, mm -hmm. and uh, Bill Harris could probably speak to that a little bit <laughs> as well. So no harm, no foul. Uh -huh. But uh, 
you know, I had my own job thing, got married, all that stuff, got sure. a couple of cats, the usual. Nice. And uh, But then the, we, the Phoenix uh, entertainment industry or, you know, uh, uh, wanted to uh, honor us. Mm-hmm. And so uh, my people got in touch with their people. We, t- we set up a, a meeting. We uh-huh. talked and um, realized that um, – uh, well, I realized that these guys were people I needed in my life, and I don't know what their problem is. But uh, <laughs> right. uh, they're they're, uh, they're they're wild and they're yeah. they're um, I- exceptional uh, rockers and, and amazing guys. Yes, indeed. And uh, I'm so glad to be back with the Meat Puppets and playing music with them was like you just key right into that. Well, it's the same kind of energy that the three of you have. It's an unspoken kind of a, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, uh, simpatico. Yeah, so it was like... unspoken bond. The yeah. In, yeah. The invisible but, red thread. But music for me is a, a musician. I've had those experiences primarily when we're like just jamming, going off. And just, That's what we connect do. connect with people in a way that it, it doesn't translate into other relationships. There's something where you're just of the same mind and you're like you're thinking... And the, it's like not just finishing other sentences, but you're you're uh, completing each other's phrases. Well, it's like this. I will um, be back in the, at the kit trying to figure out what I'm going to play. Uh-huh. And then I'll go back and listen to the uh, recording and realize that there was like a, a sixth member of the band, which was the band. Uh-huh. There is actually this kind of group mind at work. Right. Um, you know, why would old farts like us sit around try to presume for, to make people care about such stupid stuff? Right because there's something about strapping on real instruments and playing music. It's like, uh-huh. it's, I mean, the Meat Puppets are, you know, to modern kids, it's probably like Benny Goodman was when you and I were kids. It's just like completely <laughs> like, irrelevant. But on the <laughs> other hand, we're more like Benny Goodman than we knew because uh-huh. we like to play together right. and we like to see what happens. And, um, now, what's That's, that like coming back to it after 20, you haven't been, uh, it's like 1996 yeah. is when you guys took the hiatus, right? Or whatever. Yeah. Um, it, words can't express it. It's uh-huh. phenomenal um, yeah. how how good it is to get together and play music with people and uh, really find that, that muse and that spark. And, uh-huh. you know, suddenly when there is no try, all that Yoda crap, you know, it's right, like, right, right. I'll tell you what. If you want to find a Bill Ayers style solution to America's problems. Yeah. Get with Yoda. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, it's like, I mean, I, the, the, uh, let's say the meat puppets don't really um, cleave to political solutions uh-huh. too much, right. but we do tend to. Uh, we like to get high, and I don't just mean with chemicals. Right. You know, so in right. fact, I don't get high with chemicals, but I uh-huh. really get high when I play my instruments, right and on, the, the stupid world just kind of fades away. It, it, uh-huh. Listening, I, I would like it if we listen to the Meat Puppets, you would be able to get enough perspective and context to realize that a lot of this crap that's going on does not have to live outside your head. Purge it right. from your head. Enjoy uh-huh. yourselves. Uh-huh. Find ways to, um, you know, be nice to each other, for God's sakes. Um, yeah. You know, that wouldn't hurt. if you got to talk about penis 700 times a minute on the air, if yes, that's right. what turns you on, go ahead. But make <laughs> sure make sure that you're not... Um, Stepping on anybody's soul when you're doing it, and mm-hmm. have a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, you know, I would call like... in if we stepped on uh, your soul. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't even they <laughs> wouldn't even be tuning in. It's AM radio. Nobody's out there. Um, That's right. Either way, it's uh, mm-hmm. it's it's great to come in, come out. And I used to have I used to talk to my wife about you know we should have. Um, we should go on vacation to like Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, and she'd be aghast because I never got to go to those towns anymore. Mm. Now I'm back. I can come out and hang out in Chicago. Right. Last year, the first uh, show I did with the band was during that damn heat wave you had. And I was like, oh, oh God, am I ever back, baby? This is <laughs> miserable. Yeah. It's a humid kind of heat, too. Oh, it's that a, you don't get out there. It, out. it was Arizona. terrible. It was like 100 degrees uh, humidity, 100 degrees. And I was like, okay. this is touring all right. It's a good nurturing. I'll tell you case. what, when you are on tour, there are three things that matter besides the music. Uh-huh. Sleeping, uh-huh. eating, yeah. and pooping. If you can get those uh-huh. three done, then you have time to do the show. Do you, since you're here for a couple of days, do you need some recommendations about uh, where, where to, to poop? poop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because uh, we've got some excellent bathrooms here at Q4. You uh, know, so far the bathrooms I've seen in town have have been just fine. Yeah, Very nice. Really Thank good. you. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we used to give away as prizes... Um, a, a uh, toilet. no expense hey. paid uh, trip to the bathroom of their choice. Hey, they don't call this the city Scotia. that works for nothing. That was right. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, no, we got. To, what's your favorite uh, f- uh, Chicago-ish type of food? Uh, we maybe well, we can. Well, my wife and I are vegans, food. so okay. we um, Chicago diner. We went right? to the Chicago diner, Chicago diner. Oh, okay. and I like them for breakfast a little bit better than um, than for for dinner. I like their breakfast. We have we, a vegan Reuben there. I have had the vegan Reuben. I love it. On it's marble rye. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Oh, the I mashed potatoes though are really the best. Oh yeah. Um, I didn't think I had them. Either. And then um, we we there's the chain the uh, veggie grill which we don't have in Phoenix. So uh-huh. like. You know, you, you have to be from Phoenix to get excited about a, a, a vegan, um, you know, chain. But uh-huh. we went there today. It was nice. nice. So, yeah, right on. Um, uh, House of Zaw on Irving Park, uh, vegan pizza place. It's pretty good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I, anytime you go and come into a real town, you can find interesting things to eat. So, Now, what do you, uh, you know, uh, when you guys first came up in the 80s, uh, I mean, you came up, yeah. you were on SST, Correct. right? And at the time, SST was like... I mean, it was like a haven for, like, iconic uh, yep. post-punk and grunge bands. And of course, and when you say you were talking about Husker Du, uh, Husker Sonic du. Youth, Minutemen. Right. right. And that, that's just the three top-tier, you know, ones that everybody's heard of. Right. Meat Puppets, not quite as popular, but, uh, you know. Well, I mean, you, you had... Um, Black Flag, uh, uh, Nig Heist. Uh, yeah, well, there, well that, was, that was the guy, wasn't it? Uh, with the SST guy was... Yeah, Greg. Greg, Greg, uh, Greg, Greg Jin. Greg Jin, Jin the... Jin. Greg Jin Gin. Yeah. Jin Gin. And uh, he's... Uh, <laughs> now he uh, is, is a big um, cat fan, so we like him, my, my oh, wife and you. I. He's, uh-huh. um, you know, has done a lot of work trying to keep the homeless population of cats down in Los Angeles. Right. Along with playing music. And you guys did a bunch of albums for them, like a yep. half a dozen or so albums for them. Yep. Uh, uh, which, um, you know, I, I again, the I got to say that the ZZ Top one, the one that's like... Uh, Huevos. Huevos, yes. Huevos, yes. Yeah. It is just like incredible fun for me. Thank I mean, you. I, I was always a big fan of like early ZZ Top and listen to that. So are we. So... So much fun for me. Uh, it's a, and your band was like sort of like the diversity of your band is so uh, sort of like a hallmark for you guys. I mean, well, Soundgarden is all sort of Soundgarden. Kurt and, Kirkwood is, is amazing. You yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, I always just wanted to be a punker. He had to drag me along kicking and screaming to get real for a lot of times. But uh, he's amazing. He's still freaking amazing. Yeah. Um, the current band, uh, it's, a, it's a five piece now. It's not just the three of us. Right, We've right, got right. Kurt's uh, son, Elmo. Who's a chip off the old block on uh-huh. second guitar? Right on. And then a fellow by the name of Ron Sabinski, who's from Scranton, Pennsylvania, who is a classically trained uh, avant garde uh, uh, jazz pianist who uh, joins oh, us, right. and it's just he takes it, he helps us um, take it into the outer yeah, space. Because some of your songs get a little complex. Yep. It's not like you, like any schmuck off the street like me or Keegan. Buckingham. Well, you could try. Legendary board op of the Flabby Alpha Mario Stravaganzo and Fluffer. I can play any song if it's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, uh, so, you, I mean, uh, you know, punk or country, all country, and the various different styles that you do is one thing. Being able to play with that right vibe. We're kind of but a cross. Also, some of the songs are complex. We're kind of a cross between Foreigner, Can, Black Flag, and The Grateful Dead when you get right down to nice. it with a touch I'd of Tom Petty thrown in thrown yeah. into the mix. Nice. So yeah. It's uh mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's you know, back in the day of the Wavos days, the eighties SST days, we had yeah. a lot of potential. Uh-huh. Um I like to think that right now we're kind of rising to it. Now we can't necessarily <laughs> play as many notes per measure as we used to now the road men. <laughs> but right. um mm-hmm. The, you know the, the the space in between the notes. The more space in between the notes, the better. When you get to be this well, age. Well, you know, like uh, Keith Richards used to always say, it's not necessarily what you play; it's what you don't play uh, it's, that it's, can create the the real. It's groove. not. It's not necessarily what you play; it's when you play it. There you go. That's kind of the same thing. There you go. So, um, and then uh, are you guys just a sort of a biographical way. At some point, you signed with a major label. Yeah, right? we uh, we were got gotten to the point where we were just slogging it. You know, it's like we were literally putting out records to tour to make our rent money, right. and it's just like you can do that for a little while. And I remember there was a time when finally we just sat down. So you know what? We can either sell our souls to a major or just quit because we were just like up to here. You know, right. It's like yeah. I mean, it's not. We did it for a long time. Yeah. So, so right. we got on a major. Everyone else was doing it. Um, mm-hmm. They were snapping up everything and anything because. Um, where is, is, is Bill still in here? They were out to co-opt the music industry, uh, the, the indie. Uh, you know, basically, they snap up all the 
the cash cows of your independent distribution network. Yeah, which kills the independent distribution Thank you. Network. It yeah. killed it. It did kill it. Yeah. Our friends, you know, went bankrupt, leaving owing a lot of money to other friends of ours. Mm -hmm. And we just said, well, bye. We're going to go hang out with uh, <laughs> ZZ Top. <laughs> and uh, well, it yeah, was. You're right, you're right. Everybody was doing it. REM. Did well, famously. REM always had. But you, the, we're talking was about. one of the big ones that signed it to Warner? I well, sure, but they were yeah. back in the early. They only, I think, their label ended up getting bought by Warner uh, back oh. in. in the, but either way, uh, we followed a lot of bands into yeah. there, and they pretty much put us all through the the uh, cement mixer and spit us out whatever we could. Uh -huh. um, one of the key uh, things that we have to show for is we're all still alive. Are you listening, young people? <laughs> we all survived. <laughs> Uh, you can't One of the say, few bands. That, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, and you and know what did we? And that's not a joke anymore. What did we do? We stopped. Uh, you know, we just said, you know what, enough of this already. Um, right. Things are getting too effed up, and uh, right. you know, we've sat around and, and jokingly called our major label uh, days the lost years because <laughs> literally we kind of forgot why we were doing this because right. um, we were taking a lot of marching orders from people, fighting a lot with various and sundry people to do things like. Not play so many covers, not right. play so long, um, put this song on the record, leave this song off, do right. this, work with this person. Uh, so there's a lot of group think and committee. No, it was a lot of being, a lot of a lot of suit second guessing and a lot of us right. kind of losing our our what was fun about what, what it was doing. And finally, it was right. just like kind of just fell away all of a sudden. Right. Um, you know, and then, of course, we uh, got on that Nirvana thing. And right, uh, which, managed to uh, uh, make the us brothers uh, yeah. from the band wound up playing for those that, of you that don't know uh, on the famous New York Unplugged, which was the, like the last swan song. Uh, uh, really, of the Nirvana last Nirvana record. thing, yeah. and one of the best um, unplugged uh, slash you know, live records of the nineties. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, it's, terrific I'm record. About iconic. That is one of the most iconic shows of all time. That's probably going to be you know obviously Nirvana is always going to be the top of the heap for the nineties. Um, right. And you know they carried a lot of bands along, but we were lucky enough to get on the show with them. We open we were opening shows shows for them right before that, so they were like, and they come did along. versions of your yeah. your stuff. Yep. On um, that show, two or three songs, right? Three That's, songs. Three songs, yeah. And that was, you know. I mean, talk about, that had to be such a great, exciting, fun thing. Well. For for you guys to experience in, in your, uh, I, I mean, because they were the, at the time, obviously, biggest band in the, in, in the rock world. Again, so. uh, my personal opinion of the uh, the mainstream music business is not a positive one. Oh, right, uh, yeah. Their experience isn't a good example of why. Uh -huh. uh so to me, it's like I'd rather sit here and hang out with uh, three uh, nobodies from an AM station oh, yes. uh, swapping penis jokes <laughs> hey! uh, rather than being on MTV. But that's me. I, I don't speak for the entire band uh, right. necessarily. But, uh, you know, I'm not starstruck. I mean, Nirvana had a couple good songs. We had a couple good songs. You probably even have a couple good songs. The important thing is that songs. people we go out five there. five disc set as our next album, seven and a half hours worth of music, and... We have an extra disc that I'm. Should what? I announce it? There's an extra disc of music that I'm going to be releasing as a secret bootleg. Nice. So I'll, I'll, we're coming out with six discs worth of music in the next all month. All penal reference type material? I or? don't know. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some in there. There'll be a few. In the, but, uh, in the, in the song titles, maybe? Yeah, you like to get that into the time? Maybe. Well, you know, it's it's Maybe. always it, there's there's always a phallic element in it to attract the men. Oh, I'm sorry, the women, whatever the hell. Uh, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm not a, up on it. I'm one. Uh, you that's, know, that's more your thing than mine. I wear my Zappa influences on my sleeve, so um, you know, where the social satire requires me to make a uh, a sort of lowbrow reference uh i'm you not do shy. It. you've got your checklist there in front of you yeah. um well Famous obviously called the duke of penetration we which uh, is a pretty good rock we were on the the uh, howard stern show several times back in the in the 90s yeah. um he came up on stage with us once in new york oh and really? um had yeah. then had us down to the studio uh -huh. and that was odd to uh be in the what was then not even even then it was passe to call them shock jocks uh -huh. but apparently howard is uh coming out these days going you know I've been through therapy, and I kind of feel bad about some of the things I did. Mm -hmm. And I was like, good, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Good man. Yeah. So don't ever discount it. It's never too late, Flabby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, yeah, I hear his interviews now. He's pretty mellow. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a... Uh, the, the guy on after me is your therapist, right? 
That's right. <laughs> Uh, he's always on standby speed dial uh, at all times. <laughs> to throw in one fanboy thing, is there anything from that unplugged show that hasn't been released yet? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that that record and that show was um, what what the boys tell me is it was what you see is what you get. Yeah. What was on what what was recorded is pretty much was on. Obviously, the record had more songs of ours than they showed on the show, but um, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, you no. didn't think it would have come out by now. Right. Now, Keegan will vouch for this because I sent him a, a, a list of links of music that I like to use on the show as backgrounds or mm. transitional yep. things. And it's all Beds. very, very weird and esoteric. And a lot of it I is will vouch for that. cheesy uh, lounge music and whatnot. So I was wondering, can you talk, are you down with talking just a little bit about a Great American Songbook? Well, you, well, first of all, y- sure. And also, I'm on a... Uh, I do a, a show at uh, 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on a lounge kind of station called LuxuriaMusic.com. Oh, right on. Which is probably on, what is it, four? What is it, on six here? Oh, yeah. Um, and so I'm I'm up on my, my cheese, trust oh, me. Oh, excellent. Well, I was listening. But the Great American Songbook I is found, something. I found this, uh, uh, like, listed on your blog or, yep. or something like that and, and drilled down through it and loved it. The Delilah. Thank you. A version of Delight is so much fun. I mean, I listened to three or four of them this morning, uh, and I was, yeah, I'm was i going to go back to listen to some more. I, I, just, I love Beer Bell, Barrel Polka. I wish Beer the band Barrel would Polka, do that yeah, one. Yeah. One. Well, Chris had a songbook uh, and, uh, um, back Bushel in his day. Peck. Yeah. <laughs> I was well, like, oh, I love that too. Well, our, our bass player had the Nate track, and we had our own little, you know, we had a recording uh, practice studio in the back of his house, and uh-huh. uh, he had a songbook, uh-huh. and I knew the songs, and he didn't. So nice. I used to basically have him comp along with the chords while I would play the the, the drums, uh-huh. and then I would do the um, the vocals, and then he would add like crazy stuff just to fill it in. And uh-huh. uh, obviously, to hit up some of the keys, I would go ahead and speed up the tape, which is which would would appeal to your Zappa uh, oh, sleeve yeah, no, sentiments. No, it's really great. It, and, um, it's a, it's a SoundCloud page, right? The, the, the yeah, I put them all on SoundCloud Can just we for play just a tiny little. Please couple, go ahead. Uh, uh, um, By all means. Uh, so, uh, Keegan, while you're looking at that, and then I want to play the new single. Sure. One of the two new singles. Sure. Also, uh, before we finish up. But um, so let's get back to the whole idea of uh, uh, what you guys are about now. Because we're obviously we're simulcast on the web. We have an LA version of the show, too. Cool. Uh, that appears on Wednesdays. So, you're playing in Chicago tonight yep. uh, at the Subterranean. Correct. Which, uh, do you know what the ticket price is? And- I don't, but I know we go on around 10, I think. Oh, well, okay. Um, uh, and it's uh, it's a great place to see a show. Uh, good. good sound system, solid stage, and everything like that. So it'll be a fun. And it place. is actually subterranean, as I recall. I've seen photos where you got us down in the pit, and there's people all up above. So it's That's like a right. two story kind That's of a right. thing. It actually was an old cat house. And the, uh, the, the, the catwalk that goes around the stage area is an actual catwalk Sweet. from back in the day when it was a, a horror house. And uh, they would. <laughs> The, the the hookers would traipse out on the catwalk, and you'd just like kind of go like, "I'll take that one with a side order of." I think we're all aware of how yeah. the process works. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, and then you said there was another show that you're doing. Well, tomorrow? we're playing at Do Division as well. Oh, okay. Um, and I guess it's the subterranean stage. I'm pretty sure that they're oh. sponsors of it. Oh, I gotcha. Um, I mean. That that those details I'm not certain of. I, I'm almost as bad as the last guy when it comes to pr- promoting my, <laughs> my work. But uh, yeah, you know. Where Speaking else of the last guy, Larry, you got any questions? <laughs> where else are you going uh, while he's trying to come up with something? Where else are you going on the tour? Uh, well, this other? is a one-off. We're going to Europe um, uh, next oh. week. We're going to do three shows in Ireland, a couple shows in the UK. Then we're bouncing over to Belgium and the Netherlands. We're doing a show in Germany. Uh-huh. Going back to the UK. And then we're doing Spain, and then we're done. And uh, so this is the only opportunity for people to see the meat puppies, meat puppets, with the original drummer. We haven't done tour? much in the Midwest uh, yet. We did a little bit on the West Coast and some in the East. We're just getting wow. started. Um, That's great. You know, a couple uh, of us the work. How's the response been with you back in the band? Because they 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 could play with some other drummers. It's been stuff. real good so far. Um, people the, are, are vibing off of the it and, the. Intense fun that we're having is is radiating out into the crowd. They can uh-huh. tell. Right. Um, we're we're you know we're getting better every night. We're doing um, you know it's just 
it's it's alive. It's it's really it's I can't say enough about it. The response has been real good. Right the on. response to the record has been real good. Uh -huh. We like the record a lot, which uh -huh. is most important to us. Oh yeah. Um, you would like the record once you listen to the whole thing. Nice. And uh, well, I know Keegan to. likes it. I do. Thank you. Listen to it last night. Spotify. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Um, so I, the tracks I heard are great. It's, thank you. It was a great it, listen. In general, um, this is not a situation where somebody waved a bunch of money at me and said, well, I know you hate these guys, but come and do it for the payday. Uh -huh. We are um, thrilled to be back together again. Words cannot – it's hard to explain because to things got – weird in the 90s what yeah. with all of this major label stuff and everybody kind of gets pulled in their own corner and uh to get back together again to have another chance to move forward with a great record and a great understanding of what we want to do right. is something that everybody should be so lucky to uh that's great to, to have. hear man very inspired now did you, you also did the um but you weren't far away from the Meat Puppets. Well, I was you always the doing... Micro disc, uh, right, I worked on that. In 1999, we did all the SST stuff. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we don't have access to our uh, major label records. Oh, They're wow. in some multinational vault and uh i think jessica diana could probably help with i that. can help yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> away okay, with the trying to open closed doors mm -hmm. have at it <laughs> so you you stepped away for a while yeah yeah 20 so, years so that's a while mm -hmm. what were you doing in the meantime working getting working. getting married <laughs> getting married taking care of cats, on the home cats. Life, taking care of your cats you know i'm drummer um, yeah. Nothing, you know. I'm always going to be known as the drummer for the Meat Puppets, right? Yeah, right. That's not a real secure footing to stand <laughs> on. Um, you know, I have my own um, job. Did you get now, your free donut on Free Donut Day? This is true. I can always go <laughs> to the backstage and see if there's any beers left. There's not a problem there. there you go. And maybe I'll even get a dry towel. Right. But when it comes to paying your bills, it is a good or a dry idea hump. To, if you're uh, lucky. Sorry, I know you don't like the. <laughs> Dry? Come on, man. This is Chicago. I know your wife could be listening. I don't want to talk about wet humps. Would they you like to meet her? She's out in dry the room. I mean, who cares? She's dry afraid hump. to come I mean, in here. Yeah. After, wet hump, uh, go nuts. Yeah. yeah, wet hump, that might cause a little friction. Wet hump. Does it work? That's our next step. Anyway, Rock Hall of Fame, would you take it if offered? Of course. Yeah. As long as it's not too humid. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that right, day. He's got the, the uh, Yeah, let's I got the Lila. Let's play some of the... Uh, and that's called officially... Oh, I love this song. Derek Boston Soundcloud. Alright, so. You gonna cover this on the next. Uh, I might. Yeah? Did you ever see, what was that? Uh, the guy who did Repo Man, the movie Repo Man. Sean Goodman. Followed it up with a movie with Joe Strummer. Um, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, I don't know what the name that movie was. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did the, the, uh, the version of Delilah. It was just a showstopper. This was um, yeah. Neil Hamburger's. Uh, Alter Ego, Greg Turkington had a record company, and he tried to talk me into releasing that. He's a big Tom Jones fan. Oh, I, I, I saw that you were working with... What's it like to work with Neil? What's it I've, like in, I've, in, in I've, person? I've known Neil for 30 years. He's uh -huh. he's, a, he's somebody I love. He's a great yeah. guy. Well, his um, comedy is hysterically funny. I his love comedy is hysterically his routine, funny. But... He's very quiet compared to... Well, we're having a band called Hitter open for us uh, tonight, uh -huh. and uh, I'll bet you they're louder than Neil Hamburger. <laughs> but on the other hand, Neil doesn't have drums that I can borrow. <laughs> no, I love playing with Neil. We're hoping to do more shows with him. Um, it right. was a dream to be able to play with him because uh, we come from the same <laughs> place. Nice. I've known him forever. Uh, he and I used to do a, a – I used to work on a, a fanzine that he and a couple of other people did, uh, kind, of, kind of comedy fanzine back uh -huh. in the 80s and 90s. And, uh, oh, right on. I, I love his humor. I love him as a guy, so I'm glad to – Glad to work with him at any time. Oh, that's great. Well, I, uh, well, uh, I, I am just really, I can't tell you how fun it was to have you on the show. I appreciate it. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, I realize as a musician, certainly, and as a person, how much the Meat Puppets really means to people because of the honesty and the integrity of the music Thank and you. the intensity. And it's so I'm so glad to hear uh, not just that you're back with them, but uh, of what a rewarding and fun experience 
that you're having as being part I'm nodding of this group <laughs> uh, uh, after all this time it's just a, uh, a life reaffirming type of thing thank you man for, uh, not to be overly sentimental well, I'm, I'm glad but, to have uh, gotten a chance cool. to come down here um, not just to be on the radio but actually because I love driving the bus through the city it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I love to see Chicago it's very cool and I don't get to come out here enough so thanks for having me That's on great. anytime you're coming it. back through here again would love to, to to have you back. So let's, and let's, and uh, let's, let's the, have the present now. Yeah, well, while he goes for that, what are the what are the two shows? One more time. <sighs> Hold on. Tonight, is Subterranean. Oh, Subterranean tonight. Do Division tomorrow. Uh, if you go to themeatpuppets.com, you can find information on our website about it. I. Uh, okay. I I'm 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 on little to no sleep, so I'm just not quite a hundred percent sure. What do you got for me? Yeah, I have a wonderful prize that you're going to provide. You for, uh, with hours and hours of fun and excitement on those uh, long, sweltering summer dog days. Yes. Uh, please enjoy this wonderful uh, press kit from the movie Return to Oz. Oh, my God. Wow. Featuring uh, uh, some of the press information that they get, as well as a whole bunch of 8 by 10 black and white glossies. That's from freaking the movie. super. <laughs> I would definitely appreciate that. May you wear and be wonderful. Yours is a gift from the Flabby now, Opera. Now let's, let's just see here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this film was from, oh, it was a Disney movie. It looks like oh, it's from yeah. MCMLXXX5. That'd be uh, 85. 85. There you go. That could be a collector's from Disney's item. weird dark period, like before Little Mermaid, but after their huh. classic film. Right. When I'll tell you what. Just sort of. Trading water. Seeking for identity. Yeah. I That's remember right. going into a secondhand bookstore back in Phoenix, and there was, like, stacks of these kinds of things for, like, uh -huh. weird records. And I, uh -huh. I I, left most of them behind, but I couldn't resist the, the Burt Convy one. He put <laughs> ta put out a Burt Convy 45. and Tattletales. I'm a big fan. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I love I these press Burt Convy. Things. I used to live in L.A. Uh, for, for about I knew years. it. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, and I saw Burt Convy in the parking lot at Century City one day. Just sort of, you know, hanging out. Get out of out. my parking space, you <laughs> creep. <laughs> that big, bold, beautiful afro of his. Yeah, once Bert and I uh, fought over a parking space at the Ikea in Los Angeles. Really? No. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been so <laughs> serendipitous. Well, yeah, I could say it. It still sounds good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, oh, before I forget, one last thing. Business. Let's make sure that people know where they can download the album, your website, and all that kind of good stuff. Well, uh, the best place to, to get it. You, he's got warranty all booted up. The here. best thing to do is just go to Amazon and get it. Um, our record company doesn't, you know, doesn't serve their own, you know, download. But you can get it on Apple Music and Spotify right. and Google Play Music and all the usual outlets. Right. On. Um, Honestly, if you're asking me where you should buy it, go to your favorite mom and pop and buy it from them. They right. they could use the the ring easy. Right so on. you know, I, 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 our favorite record stores are the the, the small ones. The, you nice. Know. I mean, I love my chains too. Don't get me wrong, but come right. on. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. Uh, and uh, you know, the less business there is for them, the more there is for the monolithic. Uh, Despotical <clears throat> bastards. Gotta love them. They, 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 they've got our best our interests heart at heart, don't they? Yes. Oh, so, absolutely. Clear that. Well, you know, I'm sure that they're your masters. Yeah. yeah I mean, that, you that know, when you realize that it's a bunch itself. of, uh, you know, sort of basically preteen jailbait, brainless nobodies who are fronting the mainstream music industry these days. I've seen your contract. It's like you can bite the hands at feet that feeds 10% uh -huh. of the time That's right. as long as you maintain that 10 to 90. B hand bite penis reference yes. thing, and then your right. bosses are okay. Yeah, no, as long as we get enough uh, sort of like sexual references per hour, they'll let the 10% that right. would go after the man slide. Because they know it's not yeah. being, it's not a, a if they come, for, they'll, they'll, you'll come for the penis, but you'll not stay for the uh, hand biting. That's right. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. <laughs> that should be I got to I got to go do a sound check. Leave on so. that note. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can see him tonight at uh, Subterranean, uh, and uh, but you can hear him right now. Here's the Meat Puppets with their brand new single, Warranty. Warranty.